Hi, this is Marty with Sumner One. Today we're gonna to set up job accounting on a Kyocera Task Alpha series. This is the four series. I like to do this for the internet. Open up a web page and clear the address field blank. You're gonna type in the IP address of the machine. This should bring up the command center RX. You need to log in as an administrator. You might have to contact a Sumner One service representative to get these credentials. Once we log in, we'll have more options along the left side here, one of them being management settings. Now I'm gonna click on job accounting. This will appear. The first thing we're gonna do is add an account. I'll enter a couple for example's sake. Account name. ID. Here you can set up credentials or limitations for certain individuals that you might or might not want to use color, for example. Um, by default, I'll have rights with this account to use color or black and white. Click submit in the lower right corner. And then I'm gonna enter another one here so we have two examples. Add account. This time I'll make, let's call it a public account. And for this account, we don't want to allow color copies. I'll submit that. Oop. Password. So now I have two codes registered. After you register all of your codes or departments, then you need to turn the feature on. Click where it says settings, on. Leave everything else alone. You could set limitations if you wanted, but I like to leave it as is. Click submit at the bottom. We're set up now. If you approach the copier, you'll be required to enter a code to make a copy, print, or scan. Now, when printing, if someone sends a print job, that print will probably be rejected at this point because we have not entered an account code in the properties of the print driver. In order to print successfully, that account code that we've registered must be embedded in the properties of the print driver. I'll show you how to do that. You're gonna to have to do this on each PC that intends to print or get IT involved and have this done on the print server if you want to enable a box pop-up to enter a code every time someone prints. I'm gonna click the Windows Start button on the bottom. This is Windows 11. It might look a little bit different with Windows 10. I'm going to the control panel. View devices and printers. Printers and scanners, I'll identify that Kyocera. I'm gonna click here and then go to printer properties. Here at the top, you'll see device settings. If it doesn't look like this, you're using the wrong print driver. We need the printer specific print driver downloaded from Kyocera. I'm gonna click administrator, job accounting, job accounting, here, I'm gonna check mark this. Here's where I can use a prompt. So every time you print, a window will appear that will ask you to enter your account code ID. Preferred if we're doing this from the server level or at each PC, if you don't wanna enter a code every time you print, you could use a specific account ID and enter Marty's code here. After you do this, when you hit okay, Okay, again, I like to double check. Trust me, I've done this many times. This might fail. Click device settings again, administrator, job accounting one more time. Okay, in this case, it did work. These settings did stick. That's what I wanted. I'll click okay. Okay again, and we are finished. Now, if you'd like to view the account totals for each account or reset the total counts back to zero for the next billing period, click where it says management settings. Here, job accounting. Now, next to Marty and public, the two accounts we've created, 
you'll see counter. Click here, it will show the grand totals for Marty. At the bottom, you can reset that count individually. However, what I like to do, what we prefer, under job accounting, you'll see total account counter. This will show the totals for all of the accounts combined. But at the bottom, there's a reset button. If you click this, this will reset all of the counts back to zero so you can start over for your next billing cycle. Thank you.